I'm Ashley with another Guard the Grand educational moment. Did you know that there are lots of tiny bugs that live in our streams and lakes? They are called macroinvertebrates, and they can tell us a lot about the quality of our waters. Never heard the word macroinvertebrate? Well, macro means you can see them without a magnifying glass, and invertebrate means they don't have a backbone. Instead, they have an exoskeleton, which is like an outside skeleton or a hard covering over their soft bodies. Crawdads are a very common invertebrate in Oklahoma streams. Maybe you have found an empty outside skeleton of one. Well, the bug got too big for its old exoskeleton, so it had to grow a new larger one. Kind of like when you outgrow your jacket or your shoes and have to get a new one or a new pair. So, what kinds of bugs live in the creek? Well, dragonflies and damselflies start their lives in the water, as do many other types of flies. Stoneflies, mayflies, caddisflies, dobsonflies, craneflies, and many more. When we want to see if a stream is healthy, we look for three main bugs, stoneflies, mayflies, and caddisflies. These three bugs don't like too much algae. They like cold running water with lots of oxygen and plenty of space between rocks to live in. Sometimes they eat leaves, sometimes they eat algae, and sometimes they eat other bugs. If we go out and look under the rocks in a stream and we find these three types of macroinvertebrates, it tells us the quality of the water is good enough to support them and is in pretty good shape. So next time you're in the creek, pick up a rock and see what you can find. Remember kids, water is a shared resource that connects all of us, including bugs. If we take care of our water, it will take care of us. For more information about Guard the Grand, go to grda.com slash guardthegrand. See you next time for another educational moment on Guard the Grand.